Working with the memory will allow you to combine decorative stitches. We're going to find where we can take some of these stitches, put them together, and get a row looking like something totally different. So for example, first off, let's go ahead and open up the memory. By touching the mem button, you're going to notice that it says 30. That means 30 spaces are available for 30 different decorative stitches, or later, 30 different letters of alphabet spelling out, say, happy birthday, or put your date or name in there. Let's go ahead and start off by putting in stitch number 78, the star. We'll do number sign, 78, and touch mem enter to put it in one time. Let's do stitch number 98 next. Stitch number, number sign, 98, mem enter, and it shows me I've got 28 spaces left. And that would be true because the two stitches minus 30 equals 28. So when I go ahead and stitch, I'll go ahead and sew, and I will get a row featuring both stitch number 78 and stitch number 98. And I'll just keep going back and forth until I push pattern end. This button here with a little bit of line at the lower part of the triangle, that's gonna let the machine go, oh gosh, I was right at the end. How about I'll stitch one more sequence so you can see it actually end it. So it's doing 78, 79, and then it stops right at the end for me. Then I can go ahead and take it out and see my pattern. This is so much fun. You can add this to things from fabric to scrapbooking to greeting cards. So don't think just fabric, you can add these to paper as well. You'll find that when you start to combine different decorative stitches, you'll get a whole new look. Now, to clear this out, what we have is a quick way, if you use two fingers, first clear button on for one finger and the middle mem button for the second finger. Push clear first, push mem second, and voila, you're back to 30 spaces that are empty. As we go ahead and let's just try one more combination. Let's do stitch number 70, number sign, seven, zero, mem, enter, and then stitch number 85, number sign, eight, five, mem, enter. What's nice here is if I shut the machine down and come back two weeks later, this will still be in the memory. To get out of memory, we're gonna go ahead and touch mem, and you'll notice we'll go back to a straight stitch or the last stitch that you were on. When to get back in there, touch mem to open it up, it shows me stitch 70 and I might go, hmm, I wonder what else is in there. That's what these arrows are for, to scroll through the memory. So I see stitch 70, stitch 85. Oh, that's it. I can see there's two stitches in there. And then I can go ahead and stitch or once again to clear it out, push the clear button first, hold it, touch the memory button second, and it clears it out. Then I can leave myself an empty memory when I leave it.